and we're back with the next episode. So in this one then we're going to finish off all of the interior and in the episode afterwards we can work on the gardens outside. Now to start off this episode what we are actually going to be doing is just dot on a couple torches around it downstairs as it's a bit dark at the moment and it's hard to see what we're actually doing. So again it doesn't actually matter where you place them but again we're just dotting some torches around. Now that we've done that, what we are actually going to do next is replace all of the grass blocks in the floor with our birchwood planks. So you can go ahead and start this off by just removing all of your grass blocks. And once you've done that, as you might have guessed, you can just fill in all of the floor with your birchwood planks. So now that you've actually added all of that in, what we are going to come and do now though, is actually place our staircase and then we can just place the living room afterwards. Now for the staircase then, we're just going to come first the block diagonal to the doorway, and here you just want to count three blocks out. And on the third block out, you just want to look directly up, where you just want to clear two blocks out above you. Then just extending both of these out another four, so you should have a space which is two by five overall. So once you have done that, what we actually need to add now though is our staircase running down. For this then, we're just going to be using our birchwood stairs, and you just want to start at the top and work your way all the way down. And there you go, that's that done, so we just need to remove the blocks behind it that we actually placed to place it down, and then we can start on the next room. So the next room we are actually going to be doing, as I mentioned before, is going to be our living room. Now for this, what we are going to start off by doing is placing our fireplace, and then we can just place some sofas and some bushes in afterwards. Now for the fireplace, we're just going to come over to the right hand side, where you just want to begin by placing a quartz block in the bottom two corners. Then on the row above this, you can just run your slabs all the way along. After this, so our floor doesn't actually catch on fire, what we are going to do is replace the two rows in front with our quartz. After this, before we do actually place our fire in the middle, we just need to place two slabs on either side, so just place in at one on the bottom block and then one at one block above. So now that we've actually added all of this quartz round, we definitely know our house isn't going to burn down, so what you can do is just replace the back two blocks with your Neverack and just set them alight. Then on the back wall, just adding a painting. And there you go, that's our fireplace done. So what we are going to be doing next is actually placing our sofas in front. Now for this, as I mentioned before, we're going to be using our red wool and our slabs for this bit. But to start with, we just need to place a table and you just want to place it directly in line with the fire. So just counting at two blocks out from where I am now and just placing at two by two with your stone slabs. Then diagonal to this, you just want to count at one block back and with your red wool, you just want to place it in a C shape. So just placing uh, two blocks on the outside and then four blocks across the back.
and as you might have guessed just in the middle two blocks you can just fill them in with your stone slabs. So we are just going to mirror this on the opposite side now, again at counting at one block back diagonal and then just placing a C shape with your red wall again. So that's our two sofas added. What we are going to do now though to finish off the living room is just dot a couple of bushes round to finish it off. Now for the first one then we're going to be placing it in line with our coffee table and if you wanted to you can just replace the two wooden blocks underneath with two glowstone blocks if you wanted as it will just add a little bit more light to the room. Uh, for both of these though what you can do is just extend them both up so they're three blocks in height. Then after this we're just going to add one more bush in the back right hand corner. And there you go, well, that's our lounge done. So what we are going to be doing next is actually placing our rug in front of a doorway. And then after that, we can just place our kitchen. Now for a rug then, I suggest you just follow along the screen to see the design. But you are effectively just placing three on the outside, two rows, and then two in the middle. And now that we've done that, as I mentioned, we're just going to come across in the kitchen and we just need to grab all the materials we're going to need to actually build our kitchen. So to start off the kitchen, what we are going to be doing is adding a light source in the back right hand corner. And for this, you just want to use two glowstone blocks and replace the bottom two blocks this one. And then in front of this, you can just place two by three of your chests. So glowstone blocks completely hidden out your way so you won't ever see them, which is good, but just adds a little bit more light to the room. Once you've done that, as I mentioned, just placing out three lots of two chests on top of each other. For this next bit from here to the window, it's going to go in an order of one wooden block followed by two furnaces and then one more wooden block after that. Now above this, whenever we place a wooden block, it's going to be again a wooden block above it, but for the two furnaces, you just want to place it two stone slabs above these. So that's that little bit done. Now, what we are going to do on the left of this, as you can see in the image, is just place a cauldron with nothing above this time. And then on the left of that, as we have so far, just placing up one more block of wood. So that's all of the back wall done and what we need to do is actually bring out our wood, another two. And on the left of that we're just going to add a 2 by 3 with our snow and again at two buttons on the middle blocks. Now if you didn't want to actually use your snow for this bit you could also use your quartz or if you actually wanted to make a black thread you could use your coal blocks. Once you have actually added that in it's just placing one more block of wood on the left and again at one more block above that. Then just extend the bottom block of wood out another five more blocks. So that is actually the main frame for the kitchen done. What we need to do now though is actually add some final decorations to finish it off. Now for this it was going to start off by placing some stone slabs, one block in on either side of the section that we just extended out. Then on top of all of the wooden blocks on the bottom layer, you can just place a wooden pressure plate. And as well, you want to do the same on top of our furnaces with your stone pressure plates this time. That's our kitchen done and that does finish off everything we're going to be doing for the downstairs. So what we can come and do now is actually come upstairs. We just want to start off by doing exactly the same and just placing around some torches and then after that we can actually start furnishing the upstairs.
For the upstairs then, what we are going to start off by doing is just placing some glass panes around our staircase. So just extend them all the way around it so it finishes one block past where our stairs are. Once done that, the next thing we are going to be doing is shedding a balcony over the fireplace which is downstairs. Now for the balcony then, you just want to start off by clearing out these two rows as you can see on screen. And then after that, we're just going to place a row of glass panes on the row back from that. That's that little bit done. That The next thing we're going to be doing though is creating an office type space on the left of this. Now for this, you want to start off by filling in these two rows over here with your birchwood planks. After this, directly in front of this, we are going to be placing our desk with a chair in front of that. Now for the desk then, you want to come up one block in from the left, we just want to place it two uh, sprucewood stairs upside down. And on the right of that, you want to extend your slabs three more blocks out, and then just placing it two more upside down stairs on the right of that. So as you can see from the image that I showed you before, what we are going to be placing in front of our table is our chair. Now for this, you just want to come up one block out diagonal, and here, just placing a C shape with your spruce wood planks and just making sure to add a spruce wood slab in the middle. Now on the desk itself what we are going to be adding is a computer with a mouse, so at the back you just want to place a weighted pressure plate with a paint in the front followed by another weighted pressure plate, but because you can't actually place a paint in front of the weighted pressure plate, you just need to place it on another block first and then to replace it with your weighted pressure plate afterwards. And then on the right after that, just adding a lever. Then to finish off this small area, what we are going to do is place a redstone lamp in either corner with a lever underneath them. This little space we left for our office now, we have now completely finished off. What we are going to do before we do actually place the bedroom at the other end, is just add some decoration in the corridor. Now as you can see on screen then, what we are going to be adding is a couple of plant pots with some pictures behind them. But before we do that, as you can see at the moment, we've got two rows beneath and one row above, which need to be filled in so we can actually place them in front. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is count up one block out from the left, and then from here you can just place it two birchwood planks, followed by two slabs, and then two more birchwood planks after that. Once you've done that on the side of our planks, we're just going to add some trapdoors all the way round. Then on the top of our planks we're just going to be placing some plant pots with some flowers in, so on the outside it's going to be a red flower, and on the inside blocks it's going to be yellow flower.
The last thing to do then to finish off this bit as you can see from the image is just to add uh, two paintings on the back wall. So you just want to make sure they are 2x2 two two, uh, but aside from that you can have any painting you like. The last room we actually need to do now to finish off all of the interior is just place our bedroom at the end. Now what we're going to do to start this room off is just add uh, two lights in the corner and we're just going to be placing a redstone lamp with a lever underneath them at same as what we did in our office. Once you've done that, we're just going to add our bed in front. Now for this, you want to count one block in from the left hand side, and here you can just extend five blocks out with your sandstone. Then on the outside two blocks on either side, you can place one more sandstone block, and then across the middle three blocks, you can place three sandstone slabs on the top half of the block. Then in front of the outside block again, but this time in front, we're just going to add one more sandstone block with four sandstone slabs in front of that. And then you can just connect the furthest row out all the way across and just fill in the middle with your red wall. The last thing to do then to finish off our bed is across the top row, you just want to place a row of snow. Now if you do want to use snow, you can actually use your white carpet instead, but I do think it looks a bit better with snow. Uh, apart from that though, once you have actually placed it, that does mean we've finished off all of our bed, and that does mean we can start on the last thing we need to do to finish off this room. Now what we're going to do is on the opposite wall, we're just going to be placing some shelves and some bookshelves. Now for our shelves then, what you want to start off by doing is coming to the bottom left hand block, where you just want to count one block in. And here, you can just place two wider with your spruce wood slabs. Then diagonal to this two more times, again place them on top half of the block. You just want to add two wider with your slabs. Now on the bottom and top shelf we're going to be adding a plant pot with a flower in. Now for the bottom shelf you want to place your red flowers, but for the top shelf we're going to be placing our yellow flowers. And on the middle shelf you can just leave it exactly as it is. But to finish this room off and all of our interior, you just need to come under the right hand side at middle slab, where you just want to extend three bookshelves out. And there you go, that's the last thing we need to do to finish off this room, and also the last thing we need to do to finish off this part. In the next part, what we are going to be doing is working on the front and back garden. So again, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.